we are exposing our students to uh, the world of uh, makers, mainly through the Young Innovate program. So Young Innovate program means a lot to my students because it really transforms them for the better. So my students learn about design thinking where they learn how to create and innovate new products. My students, um, they are not really used to doing a lot of group work. So Young Innovate is a really good way for them to do group work. We selected students based on their strengths and uh, we formed groups to reflect the diversity in strengths. So you can see a group with uh, a, co a person doing software, a person doing hardware, and perhaps a person who's like really good in presentation. So we find groups of people where they can complement each other with their strengths. We make our students do uh, research. By research, they actually have to go to the field to do surveys to conduct interviews. And uh, through that, they are able to understand what community needs. I noticed the main difference is the girls. Because um, I think usually coding, Arduino, Raspberry is more boys thing. I have two teenage girls. I actually never thought that they will be very interested. But surprisingly, throughout this project, my daughter become very interested and in fact, she's the leader of the project. So, I think that's a good thing. Should encourage more girls to be involved in coding and programming especially STEM-related subjects, yeah. In Young Innovate, we allow the students from other streams other than sciences to also join us. So according to one of our students, who's right behind there, uh, he says that Young Innovate is a way for him to explore the sciences. He wasn't able to enter the science stream, so uh, this uh, Young Innovate program allows him to actually explore what he could not do in his classroom. So when I entered this program, I learned something that is out for my syllabus. I'm more in thinking in out box what I learned. And this program is also helped me in my examination and my future life. We are now helping um, people that is really disabled, like they cannot see. So that's something that I really want to help them so they can be more independent in their life using the stick. That is my hope. I think he has also grown um, the character wise because when he do his project, he needs to plan a lot. So sometimes um, he will forget certain things and then uh, he has to go out again and again to buy the parts, right? So after that, he told me he learned that next time I need to plan how to manage the whole, uh, the whole project and the whole team. One of my students have told me that you know, whenever she looks at equipment or machineries around them, she, she starts thinking about what the input and output of these machines are. Like for example, when she looks at a vending machine, uh, immediately she starts thinking about or the button as an input, or the motor as an output, and, and the components that are required in making these things work. You know, this is something that not many students get the opportunity or exposure to, and it's given my students that. The students are exposed to new technology. They're using this technology to build solutions for day-to-day -day problems and issues.